Getting up in the morning is never fun, but there are some pretty cool new gadget alarm clocks which could make your mornings more bearable. So what are the top five you can buy? Well, set your alarm for now, because that's what I'm going to tell you. <sighs> Number five is this, the flying alarm clock. And as the name suggests, it flies. You get this little ball and a propeller in the box, you just clip them together, whack them on the top of your alarm clock, set the time, and expect a waking up experience like no other. Night night. Unfortunately, to turn the alarm off, you have to catch the propeller and stick it back on the base of the clock. <laughs> it's a little too loud to wake you up softly, and that is possibly the most physical waking experience I've ever had, but I really like the concept. In at number four is this mean-looking clock, the Sonic Bomb. Perfect for those who have real trouble getting up in the morning. It sounds an alarm at a staggering 113 decibels. That's louder than a helicopter, a chainsaw, or being front row at a rock concert. It comes with this bed vibrator, which is basically a miniature subwoofer that you put under your pillow. When the alarm goes off, it shakes you awake. Night, night. Unreal! <laughs> look at this thing, look! Can you see that? <laughs> oh my god, that's scary! Alarm clock number three is this little chap. He's called Clocky, and it might not look like much, but believe me, he's going to give you the runaround. When he goes off in the morning, he spools up those wheels, jumps off the table, and finds a place to hide anywhere in the room. It could be under the bed, under your cupboard, Lord only knows where. And the only way to switch him off is to find him and hit the snooze button. Night night. And Clocky certainly knows how to get you out of bed in the morning. I'm not going to pretend it's a nice experience, but it is one of the most effective alarm clocks I've ever tried. Ah. In at number two is the retro iPod alarm clock. I love this thing. It looks just like an alarm clock, but it's a lot more sophisticated. There's a docking bay at the front for any iPod, except the shuffle on the iPod touch. You move this simple clicking device here to the desired position, depending on what iPod you've got. Whack your player into the cradle, and look at this, it automatically syncs and finds its way with software inside the alarm clock to your internal clock on your iPod. It then plays whatever track you've set to play from your iPod's memory via these 360 degree omnidirectional speakers. Uh, and there's also a lovely chrome volume knob on the end, so I'm just gonna turn it to full volume. The question is though, will it wake me up? No, no. What a way to wake up your very own personal playlist to get you up and in a good mood. My number one alarm clock is the Philips Wake Up Light. It's a really cool concept. The idea is that it encourages you to wake up in a much more natural way than conventional alarm clocks do. It uses light and sound to wake you up naturally. The light starts to slowly build in intensity half an hour before you want to wake up. And there are also a selection of different sounds to accompany the light, like birds singing or waves crashing. The idea is that you wake up, you're not woken up. Night night. The whole experience is supposed to have a positive effect on your energy hormones, which means you'll feel tippity top and full of energy for the whole day. That is really nice. It's like a warm glow from the sun. Hey, it's like in the night my house fell down and I'm lying in the garden looking up and the trees are swaying and the birds are singing. You know, aside from the fact that eventually I'm gonna have to get up and, you know, bring the insurance company and rebuild my house. It is a lovely feeling of being outside. 